Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. So in this session, we'll see uh, what is token in C Sharp and how many tokens we have in C Sharp. So token is nothing but, in simple words, it's kind of a, a you know unit of program, right? Which you basically use it to perform some action. Okay. So C Sharp program is a collection of tokens which are made up of different tokens here. So like, you know, keywords, identifiers, literals, right? Operators and punctuators. So these tokens, <clears throat> we basically use it as part of writing a general or you no know, regular programming. And wherein we have to follow some guidelines to use each token here. Okay. So when you want to define the token definition, right? I'm going to tell that, right? A token is nothing but a small unit of program in any programming language, which basically use it for to perform some action. Okay. So let me define the definition. So token is nothing but, token is nothing but, small unit of program in c sharp in c sharp program is a collection of tokens like keywords literals and identifiers etc so we have five types of tokens we have five types of tokens okay one is literals identifiers operators right keywords and last one is punctuators these are all five keywords we have in C sharp. Okay. So when it comes to literal, it is a fixed unit of uh, a value. Let's say like literal is a fixed or constant value. We use it to assign to the variable. Okay. So again, this literal is going to be divided into different types: integer literal, floating literal, character literal, string literal, a boolean literal, and allowable literal. Got it. So when it comes to a next one, right, identifiers, okay. Identifier is nothing but name. We basically use it for creating a variables, classes, namespaces, right, methods, etc. So when you want to give a name, right, you must follow the standards of identifier the rules, like identifier must not start with a desert, Identifier can have alphabets, underscore, and digits. Keywords we can't use as identifier. No special characters or symbols like hash and the dollar, etc., are not used as part of identifier except underscore. Okay. So when it comes to operators, okay, operator is nothing but, right? It's kind of uh, um, you know uh, action you are going to apply on more than one operator, okay? If you want to perform some operation like addition, we are going to use plus operator. Like that, we have different types of operators in j -sharp. Arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operators, etc. And also we have bitwise operators, but there's a, there's, there's, they are like part of advanced concepts. But we basically, when we talk about operators, we only consider these four types, arithmetic operators, relational operators, or comparison operators, then logical operators, assignment operators. Okay. And next one is keywords. So when we talk about keyword, right, keyword is nothing but a reserved word already provided by Microsoft. That means these are having some specific functionality given by Microsoft and we can't override. So when we use keyword in program, it will automatically pull the program or an action or the relevant functionality by CLM. Okay, 
like when you use int, this is something which you are going to use it for de declaring integer type variables. Clear? So there are, I think, uh, one or four keywords we have in C sharp, and all those one or four keywords we can't use it as part of identifiers. But these are going to be used as part of program. And last one is punctuators. Punctuators is something like, you know, separating a program or part of program or, you know, shape out a shape to, to make shape of a program. We're going to use these punctuators. So as, as I said, like punctuators are something as special symbols, which are used to group the program or separate the program. So we have a separate different symbols here, like semicolon, comma, brackets, curly braces, parentheses, period. These are the punctuators we are going to use it as part of program. As these are separating program, these can be also known as separators. Okay, let's see like one by one. What is this letter? It is a fixed value or constant to be used for variables to store values to store and access. Okay, so literals are different types. Literals are different types like integer literal, float literal, string literal, before to that character literal, right? And boolean literal. The last one is null literal. These are different literals we have in a literal topic. Okay, integer literal is nothing but a numbers you're going to uh, give it. Like example, when I say like, you know, a 10, 20, 30, these are integer literals. When I say like decimals, 10.25, 200.12, 1234.12, these are floating literals. When I say value within single quote, right? This is string literal, right? These are string literal. When I say like value in single quote, right? These are character literal. When I say values like true or false, these are Boolean literals. And when it comes to nothing, right? Or null, right? This becomes null literals, okay? So these are fixed values to be used for variables to store and access, okay? And coming to the identifier, coming to the identifier, right? Identifier is a name which basically using it for creating variables. These are the names used to create variables, function names, classes, namespaces extra right int right test id this is what my identifier right static y add right this is my method which having add this is the identifier so these are some examples of identifier so identifier having rules identifier or having the rules one is identifier should not start with desert identifier should start with underscore alphabet Identifier should not have special characters except except underscore except underscore keywords cannot be used 
as a identifier so these are some rules we're going to write uh, provide as identifier <clears throat> so some examples test id okay and oops product id gender grade right and i'll say price time and uh, you know the custom name test id as is it custom cust uh, location these are the valid identifiers these are valid identifiers so there are some invalid identifiers like you know hash price it is invalid okay because you are using a special character which is not acceptable dollar price this is also not valid right name this is also not valid true this is not valid class keyword we can't use wide keyword we can't use static keyword we can't use these are some invalid right identifiers zero one two name also invalid okay so this is something you need to follow when you're creating identifiers okay and coming to the operators coming to the operators operators let me go back operators okay operators are symbols used to perform some operation on operands example plus minus multiplication model and divide okay so addition subtraction reminder division multiplication or the operators okay so we have different operators we have different operators like arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators assignment operator okay and also bitwise or and operators also comes up uh, operators but these are they are advanced operators and we frequently use these operators okay and next one is keywords okay keywords are reserved words provided by microsoft in c sharp we have one out four keywords and those cannot be used as part of identifiers example class namespace y static int float string pair double etc so these are the keywords okay and the last one is punctuators what is this punctuators so as i said punctuators are you know part of program symbols used for separating program okay so they basically use it to shape the program okay punctuators are these are symbols 
used to shape the program. In simple words, these are used to group or separate the program. Punctuators are also known as separators because these are separating probes. So what are the symbols here? We are going to use it. Curly braces, brackets, semicolon, right? Comma, semicolon. Okay. Parenthesis and dot. So these are the basic, you know, punctuators we are going to use, right? In C short program. Okay, so these all are a tokens in C sharp. You basically use it for writing a program. So tokens are a small unit of program, right? And can be used to perform some action. Tokens come up for different types: literals, identifiers, operators, keywords, and punctuators. Okay, literals are again different types, and these are different types. And identifier has nothing but name. We are going to give it for creating variables and functions and names, space and classes. And coming to this operators, this is something we are going to use it to perform the mathematical operations. And we are going to use different operators here. And these operators are concentrated operators. Okay. And keywords are something like reserve words. And uh, we are going to use for special purpose and can't be used for regular identifier names. Punctuators are the symbols. We use it to shape a program. And sometimes we group the program. Sometimes we separate the program. When I use this curly braces, just make block. When I use this, it's just making some collection of values. When I make this statement, it is ending my program, right? This way, the symbols are going to use to separate the program or shape the program. Then these also comes under as part of your program. Program is nothing but collection of tokens. Tokens are all different types like and identifiers, literals, operators, and these keywords and punctuators. Okay. I hope you are clear on these tokens. Thanks for listening to this video.